To Adam was given another son to be the, the inheritor of the divine promise, the heir of the spiritual birthright. The name Seth, given to the son, signified appointed or compensation. For, said the mother, God hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain killed. Seth was more noble statue than Cain or Abel, and resembled Adam more closely than did his other sons. He was a worthy character, following in the steps of Abel, yet in, he inherited no more natural goodness than did Cain. Concerning the creation of Adam, it is said, In the likeness of God made he him, but man after the fall had a son in his own likeness after his image. While Adam was created sinless in the likeness of God, Seth, like Cain, inherited the fallen nature of his parents. But he received also the knowledge of the Redeemer and instruction in righteousness. By divine grace, he served and honored God, and he labored as Abel would have done had he lived to turn the minds of sinful men to worship and obey their Creator. To Seth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of Jehovah. The faithful had worshipped God before, but as men increased, the distinction between the two classes became more marked. There was an open profession of loyalty to God on the part of one, as there was contempt and disobedience on the part of the other. Before the fall, our first parents had kept the Sabbath, which was instituted in Eden, and after their banishment from paradise, they continued its observance. They had tasted the bitter fruits of disobedience and had learned what every one that tramples upon God's commandments will sooner or later learn, that the divine laws are sacred and immutable, and that the penalty of transgression will surely be inflicted. The Sabbath was honored by all the children of Adam that remained loyal to God, but Cain and his descendants did not respect the day upon which God had rested. They chose their own time for labor and for rest, regardless of Jehovah's express command. Upon receiving the curse of God, Cain had withdrawn from his father's household. He had first chosen his occupation as a tiller of the soil, and he now founded a city, calling it after the name of his eldest son. He had gone out from the presence of the Lord, cast away the promise of the restored Eden to seek his possessions and enjoyment in the earth under the curse of sin. Thus, standing at the head of that great class of men who worship the God of this world, in that which pertains to mere earthly and material progress, his descendants became distinguished, but they were regardless of God and in opposition to his purposes for man. To the crime of murder in which Cain had led the way, Lamech, the fifth in descent, added polygamy and boastfully defiant, he acknowledged God, only to draw from the avenging of Cain an assurance of his own safety. Abel had led a pastoral life, dwelling in tents or booths, and the descendants of Seth followed the same course, counting themselves strangers and pilgrims on the earth, seeking a better country. For some time the two classes remained separate. The race of Cain, spreading from the place of their first settlement, dispersed over the plains and valleys where the children of Seth had dwelt, and the other, in order to escape from their contaminating influence, withdrew to the mountains and there made their home. So long as this separation continued, they maintained the worship of God in its purity. But in the lapse of time, they ventured, little by little, to mingle with the inhabitants of the valleys. This association was productive of the worst results. The sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. The children of Seth, attracted by the beauty of the daughters of Cain's descendants, displeased the Lord by intermarrying with them. Many of the worshippers of God were seduced into sin by the allurements that were now constantly before them, and they lost their peculiar, holy character. Mingling with the depraved, they became like them in spirit and in deeds. The restrictions of the seventh commandment were disregarded, and they took them wives of all which they chose. The children of Seth went in the way of Cain. They fixed their minds upon worldly prosperity and enjoyment, and neglected the commandments of the Lord. Men did not like to retain God in their knowledge. 
They became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Therefore God gave them over to a mind void of judgment. Sin spread aboard in the earth like a deadly leprosy. Dear Lord, we thank you that our weaknesses are opportunities for your strength. Please teach us how to experience your grace in our lives and how to depend on your power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.